You like it? Why look? And what can you do with a girl? You drive her a little boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, amigo, come ashore. Come on. The drinks and cigars are on me. Uh-uh. Huh? Nothing doing, Luis. I never sit foot off my boat. This line here, that's where my world ends. Yeah, I know. Your boat and the village of Amandido. <laughs> you said it. Those supplies, they ready to go? Sure, they're all right here. Salt, flour, medicine, the whole lot. Including the red eye for Mother Tobias? Red eye for who? You, you mean lotion, shampoo, don't you? What shampoo? Are you kidding? She took a look at the whole bottle. Says it's the greatest taste since bean brandy. Oh, Anti-dandruff. Rub in well. It's written right on it. Writing only works if you can read, Luis. What we need up there is a school. Now that I mention it, how many bananas would it take to build one? Joe! Oh, banana, Joe.
yes. Yes, 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 this is it. This is paradise on earth. <laughs> oh, bananas. <laughs> Love bananas. <laughs> Martinez. You finish it. Simpaticos, Gucci, Gucci. <laughs> a veritable anthill of low-cost labor. A primary requirement for the success of our banana packaging and processing plant. Right, Martinez? Hey, what's happened? Who's turn off the Papa water? Papa Joe, Papa Joe, come quick. Strangers is arriving fast what? out. Stay over there. Papa Joe, you have to come. Come quick. Good, huh? <laughs> My left. <laughs> uh -huh. ah, that's it. <laughs> Perfect. Good, good. <laughs> now, let's see. That's where we'll set up the warehouse with a completely automated ta 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 ta, -ta banana processor. And over here, an ultra-modern sterilizing unit. Then there'll be packaging, ta 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 ta, -ta labeling, shipping, etc., etc., etc. And over here... Over here's where I am. Who are you? Banana Joe. Love it. Banana Joe. Great name. <laughs> this is for you. Special double mint flavor. <laughs> These savages go crazy over chewing gum. Remember that, Martinez. Uh, a little to the left. <laughs> to the left. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. I didn't hear your name. <laughs> I represent the multinational food conglomerate that has bought the concession to this island to cultivate, process, and ship bananas to every corner of the globe. <laughs> we pick the bananas around here, and I take them upriver to exchange them for the supplies we need for this village. Get it? <laughs> ah, so you're an American. <laughs> One of those guys left over from the Peace Corps. <laughs> I want to make sure we understand each other, amigo. You're setting up nothing on this island. Get it? Oh, I don't want to be a nosy Parker, but do you have a license, a concession from the government to pursue a commercial venture here? License, concession? What's that? Uh, he's just citing the law. Anybody trafficking in bananas must have a license from the government. Oh, I get the picture. Well, he's got the picture. <laughs> yeah, I get the picture, and you're getting the boot. You're polluting the environment, so get going. We are representatives of progress, civilization. We represent Mr. Torcillo, the patron of Puerto Grande. Right. <laughs> 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 oh, my bag! Oh, my bag! Oh. I swear your papers, for my name's not Chamberlain or but I'll see your corporation. You're gonna do it, kid. Do it right. Nobody crosses Mr. Torcillo and gets away with it. No. Residence. This is Moreno. Let me speak to the boss. Just a minute, I'll see if he's in. Hey, boss. Moreno's on the phone for you. Um, hold on. Include the bananas as well. Mm. Okay, Mr. Torcillo. Send it off to Time Magazine and suggest they put it on the cover. Jose Alfonso Torcillo, the Banana King. A banana day keeps the doctor away. Yeah. Hello, Moreno. Well, what's the story on Amatito? You a broken soil? No, but I almost broke my head, old chap. You should have been there yourself. A big ape kicked us off the island. <laughs> Who kicked you off the island? A guy called Banana Joe, a local Napoleon. Uh, only he's an American and more savage than the savages. This is your wake-up call. This is your wake-up call. 
Shine, come on. <clears throat> you too. <clears throat> you sleep your whole lives away. Who are you? We all yours, Joe. You big puppy of whole wood. Ah, good kid. <laughs> Into the shower. Got a big oh. plate of fried bananas for everyone. Bananas again? No! Hmm. You don't want fried bananas? I'll do them roasted. We don't want bananas. You kids know why I'm so strong, super strong, right? Yes! <laughs> because I never passed up on bananas. Vamos, vamos. Look at that. Batista, you got new umbrellas and a clean shirt. You must be making money, huh? <laughs> yeah, I owe it all to your bananas, too. <laughs> There's no better bananas in the whole wide world. Here, have one on me. Hey, Gus. It'll do you good. Come on, come on. Keep those bananas moving. Hurry it up. Very good. Here, come here, huh? Here's the guy Tosio told you about. You know what to do, huh? Vamos, niños. I want to get back before nightfall. I'll take you here right now. Next. All right. Load it up. Yeah, it's good for you. Who's the owner of this hulk? I am. Why? The nuts see your license to transport bananas up this part of the river. Your wholesaler's license and your work permit. Oh, yeah. I'll have to arrest you if you can't produce the license. Until I see it, I'm impounding your boat. Afraid you'll have to accompany me to headquarters. Hey, you're not impounding my boat. And if you're not out of here in five seconds, I'll throw you in the water. Hey, oh, hey, you hey take it easy, officer, huh? I didn't mean it, Sergeant. You only lose by fighting City Hall. I can't even pay you in supplies any longer if they've impounded your boat. So take it easy. Try this load off you with much. Once you get the metal sorted out, you give it back, and I give you your supplies, okay? Yeah. Well, this is money. Yeah, don't lose it. <laughs> I don't know how you can expect me to give you a license when you don't even know your surname. Your father's name, your mother's name, your place of birth. It means you don't exist. I'm standing here right in front of you. That means I must exist. The law demands proof. Well, I do have a name. It's, it's Joe. Banana Joe. Yes. Well, you have no surname and no means of identifying yourself. <laughs> what do you suppose the judge will have to say about that? Oh, well, I... Excuse me, Captain, but I just brought in Pitsubo. Yeah. Suspected of driving no, I... a stolen car. It's not registered in his uh, name. Listen, Captain, there's been a misunderstanding. A, a case of mistaken identity. They say everybody in the world has a double, no? <laughs> My name is Juan Vilas. I have all the identification right here. Give me a... Uh, no, give Father, me a I know you, Juan Vilas. I you. Pietro Pezzulo, alias Juan Rodriguez. I know all your aliases. You have too many names. You're under arrest. Oh, no. Senor, you're arresting him for having too many names. That means you can let me go. Well, I only have one. In reference to your position, if you want to go on trading on the river, you must have papers. To apply for a license, you must first produce a birth certificate. Until further notice, your boat's impounded. Oh. Let's get one thing straight. The boat's mine, and I'm taking it back. You touch that boat, and you go to jail. You can't arrest me. I don't have a name. I don't exist for you. <laughs> He's got a good point, Captain, if I may say. You may. Are you still here? Uh, Put this man in a cell! Sergeant! Let's be reasonable, Captain. You have no reason to lock me up. I mean, I can prove that I'm one Vilas. Born in Caracas on August 15th, 1950. Oh, what's more, if you'll check the references I have here, you'll find a letter of thanks from our esteemed and beloved president. A letter from El Presidente? Yeah. <laughs> a letter from uh, our esteemed leader, well, Pinto Barreto, in which he thanks me uh, for uh, supplying him with a box of special hormone pills. 
made to my formula from the root of the Tripodia corputus, an almost extinct herb I uh, discovered in the Amazon rainforest. Uh, if the president's beautiful and beloved consort produces a big bouncing boy this time instead of another girl, the merit will be all mine, uh, modestly speaking. Um, uh, oh, of course, of course. Shut oh, the door, thank Sergeant! Thank you, Captain. You uh, will shortly be receiving a promotion. Thank you, sir. Uh, ah, yes, a word in the right thank ear you. at the right time. Thank you, thank you sir. God bless you all. Have a nice day. Uh, <laughs> uh, Colonel, uh, now can I have my boat back? Not until you come up with identification. You'll have to go into the city. If I were you, uh, I'd go first to the bishop's office and get a copy of your baptism certificate. Certificate? Yeah, after you were born, you were baptized, weren't you? No, I can't remember. Once you get your baptism certificate, apply for a birth certificate at the registry office, huh? Oh. Now, off you go and come back with proof you exist. <laughs> Through the city. <laughs> How am I supposed to get there? Take the train. I to ride with any Joe Blow that comes along. Well, who's Joe Blow? Who's Joe Blow? Everybody knows that. I don't know the guy. Hey, amigo, <laughs> uh, amigo, I hear you're looking for a license, per uh, permission to trade bananas on the river. This is your lucky day, I have one right here, okay? Thanks. Ah, uh, but um, I need some compensation, like, you know, uh, uh, eh? this here. All uh, oh, right, but uh, not all of it, no, 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 uh, this one will do all right. Uh -huh. <laughs> there you are. In the mouth of the wolf, <laughs> like my cousin say. What does that mean? Good luck. Hey, Batista, I got my license. This is great, Joe. The license valid for two years. The only trouble is, it's not made out to you. Look here, it says Alvaro Gomez. That's not you, is it? Oh, I'm Banana Joe. What means whoever sold you this was doing you no favors. See you out. You told me it was my name, I wouldn't have bought it. Now well, I guess I really do have to go into the city. Hey, Diego. Yeah. How you been? Yes, great. What's going down? Where are you going? Uh, in the city. We're all waiting for uh, old man Miguel to signal the start of the race. Signal the start of the race? Yeah. What race? What, you mean you don't know? Every Monday, the first truck into Puerto Grande sets the price for the rest of the week. One minute to go. No, what? I don't see the hurry. It's simple arithmetic. A guy who fixes the prices picks up the difference in a week before. Uh, hey, Diego. Can I ride with you? Yeah, sure. It's a pleasure. Even if you're extra weight. I got no intention of winning anyhow. You don't? Why not? Just between you, me, and the mayor, buddy, I love my skin too much to challenge Jose Torcillo. His driver's gonna win because he controls the market at Puerto Grande. Torcillo? Well, the name rings a bell. Yeah, that's his driver over there. Climb aboard, Joe.
pair of legs, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got plenty of girls on the feet, though. I like that. Mm, with stockings. Her name's Dory Ann. She sings in a club in Puerto Brandy. if you try to win? Yeah, so. Sure. Yeah. Right. Hey, he's a jerk. Over rev your engines and the pistons can't take it. Hey. must be thanking his lucky stars, but Torsia's driver would have run right over the kid. Yeah. Yeah. That ain't right at all. Yeah. Here, move over. Let me hey, drive. Hey, are you going crazy? Hey, Joe, you don't know how to drive. Uh, yeah. Doesn't tell you. Just keep your foot down. Uh -huh. Slow down, huh? I told you that's Torcillo's driver. Torcillo's a turkey. Just yeah. shut up. Yeah. Very good, Moreno. I leave the Amantino project 100% in your hands. Never fear, Mr. Torcillo. Before that ape finishes with the police, I'll have turned the village into an industrial paradise. <laughs> Senor Torcillo, I think maybe, maybe we should take more precautions before unloading the merchandise. Don't worry about a thing. Any crate stamp Torcillo goes through customs like a hot knife through butter. <laughs> Mr. Torcillo's the greatest thing since our deal. And this is only the beginning. Pretty soon I'll have total control of the world's bananas from growing to marketing. Prepare for greatness, Captain. On the double. Take us to the produce market. I never miss the end of the truckers' race. I love to see my man win. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor away. 
away. Well, are you lucky to be alive, Bob? I feel like, like a human cat on a wall. Look, that's the guy who hit you. Guess who it is? That's Banana Joe, the fellow from Amantino. Let's get him over to the boat. Come yeah, on, you, me. you can make it. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Get out of my face. Get, get out of there, you. Get it. He wasn't Double me. Crosser. He wasn't me. And who was it? I was driving. I don't know who you are, but going over the road gang was against the rules. Oh, yeah? Tell me about it. Calm down, Miguel. There's nothing to fight about. This driver here won the race, and now I can fix this uh, week's new prize. Uh, maybe so, but he'll pay for this. Easy prize. Split the difference. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Diego, what was uh, the price last 200 week? 200 a kilo. Yeah. Okay, then. I make the new prices 100 a kilo. Are you going crazy? You shouldn't have done that, mister. You ruined the market. The wholesalers won't go for it. For wholesalers, we Mr. Torsillo. You're a real turkey, mister. Uh, the only turkey around here is what's his name? Torsillo. Now you're near hot water. Huh? Come with us, Samson. Where are we going? When we get there, you'll find out. Oh. You're feeling better, old man? You're a real jerk, Moreno. It's all your fault. Me? What was the big ape from Amantino doing on that truck? Next time I see my last boss. You're a horse's ass, Moreno. I know. Oh, look, Mr. Torsillo. Our guys are bringing him up to say hello. Snap it up, you big old. Hey, Kayo, come give us a nice hand. Boat. Thanks. How many bananas does this thing carry? I'm ready. Let's start the party. And you. I'm going to show you a good time now. You're going dancing? Yeah, the quick step. The stomper square dance. Oh, I love dancing, man. <laughs> 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 That's Keo's left uppercut, huh? Luigi's pile driver. And that's a hook from George, huh? Oh, that one was Freddy's double whammy. Uh, he's getting a lesson he'll never forget. <laughs> What's so funny? Huh? Get back to Amantino at once. Yes, that's where you belong. Right away. My hat, Moreno. I'm frankly sorry. Idiot. Yes. Don't waste time. I'm on my way. <laughs> well done, boys. That'll teach him to mess with Jose Alfonso Torcillo. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> All right, stand back. Bring it up. Hey, Greedy. Hey, lead the way. I never cross with strangers. at this time of day. <laughs> Bishop's office. A man like yourself should never dress so badly. Well, that's why everybody Yes, said. sir, the man who knows what he's looking for is dressed by Quintero. Leave it to us. Take your choice from a wide range of models. <laughs> Thanks. Quintero fashion. Take it up to the accounting office, miss. Yes, sir. Uh, miss. May I help you, sir? No, oh, good morning. Good morning. I'd like to buy a new suit of clothes. Uh, we sell domestic appliances, sir. Uh, perhaps you mean a TV set or a washing machine? No, there was a gent outside in the window who told me to come in here and buy some new well, what clothes. What gentleman in the window? I don't understand you. Please explain yourself. There was a gent out there who told me I was badly dressed and to come in here. Are you from Candid Camera by any chance? You must still be out there. If you don't believe me, come and see for yourself. There he was, in a little window right there. Estrella, the whole milk guaranteed to give you energy. No, uh, milk, huh? The lady's got to be uh, the wife of the gent who was there before. But come to think of it, what are they doing in that box? You are from Candid Camera, aren't you? Well, I'm sorry, I don't have time to play your games. Goodbye. Uh, no, I'm you not... You are handsome. Successful and oh, dynamic. And your deodorant is that sophisticated aroma of tropical sex. You <laughs> Go back and look again. Anybody knows the difference between a bull and a cow? Oh. Amigo, amigo. Where's the horn? horn? Where's the horn? Real bulls have horns, senor. But these bulls are special. And a rare breed from the mountains. They have their horns under the skin. To make them pop out, you have to pull their ears. Yeah, yeah. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Thank you. Thank you for... Now, I don't know how to pay you back. I'll be eternally grateful for... I, 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 I saved I, your I, life. I, I, I can tell you myself. Wait, 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 wait. I know, I know. I've been looking for you. I made a terrible mistake and sold you a license. But so help me, I made a terrible mistake that might get out to somebody else. And I've been looking for you ever since to, to give you your money back. I see I have it right here. Right, right, right. Uh, why does everybody think I I'm trying to cheat them? Uh, uh, listen, you little squirt. I have to go get a baptism certificate. Can you show me the way? I know the bishop's office inside out. Sure, I'd take it. One more thing. You know, part of this for a new suit of clothes. Uh, new suit of clothes? Mm-hmm. A suit of, uh, sure. I know a great tailor who has the best prices in town, eh? You mean with this little bitty piece of paper I can get new clothes from head to toe? Sure, if you're going to see the bishop, it's the habit that makes the monk. <laughs> monk, I own it. It's a figure of speech. It means that people judge you by your clothes. Either you're a guy with class, or you're Joe Blow like all the other schmucks. Yeah. Who's always talking about Joe Blow? Is someone special? Tuck here that way. We need a little tuck here. Oh, what wonderful bike. I came for a suit of clothes, not a massage. Hmm. Uh, let's see. He looks terrific. Just terrific. But there's something missing. I have it. A pair of shoes. I was 
just about to suggest that myself. And I happen to have the perfect article. Of course, uh, your friend does have exceptionally interesting feet. I think a 58 will do the trick. I don't want him. And he's absolutely right. He doesn't want your shoes. He wants the shoes I'm going to give him as a gift. I'll be right back. Are you comfortable in the cross? Hey, quit that. Yeah. What's with the kneeling? Yeah. Something queer about you. Sonia, Sonia, just no, you for you. No, thanks. I don't buy shoes. I sell them wholesale. I'll be back in a couple of weeks, and I'll have a deal for you. I have a stock that's coming direct from Italy. Gracias, eh? Sonia. Don't mention it. There, we've seen the last of your friend. <laughs> Here. <laughs> just the shoes for you, with my compliments. Right. Don't mention it. By the way, while we're talking about your friend, he mentioned that you would also be paying for all those suits I made him, which he never paid for. Well, no. You're up the wrong tree. I'm paying for what I'm wearing. How much? A thousand with discount. This enough? But this isn't worth the paper it's printed on. This is a publicity gimmick for a new movie. What a pity, darling. I'm afraid you had. <laughs> This stuff's no good. It's not worth anything. Exactly. I wouldn't even use it to wipe my you-know-what. I mean, just peel the paper. I'm used to super soft tissue. When I see him again, I'll ram it down his throat. Hmm. What about this stuff, hmm? Ah, you have money after all. Real coin of the realm this time. But if it's all you have, darling, I wouldn't dream of leaving you broke. Here, I'll take 500 on account. Pay me the rest when you can. Hey, but... I'm going to pick up my birth certificate and go right back to Amantito. Oh, well, then you'll be here for days. I mean, you're dealing with bureaucrats, and they're always four times as slow as anybody else, except when they're collecting taxes. Have you a place to lay your head? Mm -hmm. You can come home with me if you like. No, no. As you wish. You should find a job, you know, or you'll be broke in no time. It shouldn't be difficult. There's always somebody who can use those wonderful biceps. Why not go to the Macambo nightclub and apply for a job as a bouncer? I'm told it pays extremely well. What's a bouncer have to do? Yes, we're looking for a bouncer. From 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., you will work in here. If you see anybody molesting the customers, and especially the girls who work in the club, you will intervene and kick his ass out the door. You mean it's all I gotta do? The compensation is 50 a night. In flour and sugar? No, in dollars. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, quarter, quarter, a half of a load of bananas. What does this have to do with bananas? <laughs> they make the world go round.
too long. Not if I do it. Should I just let you come and do my life this time? If what am I paying you for if you can't even find the big hole? Shh. He's a midget like some excuse, but he's the size of a mouth. He must have holed up somewhere to wait for us to forget him. Oh, sure. If find him, I'll turn him apart myself. Good man. Never say. Good evening, boss. Evening. If you follow me, I'll uh, show you to your table. First, I have a few phone calls to make. Who's the singer? He ain't bad. Her name's Dorian, boss. This is her first night on a month's contract. Do you accept all the usual terms? Of course. Where's she staying? In one of your hotels. The Ambassador Towers, boss. Perfect. Orange soda, please. <laughs> come with me, sweetheart. Then come to my table. Very generous. No thanks. I don't work the table. Oh, you don't have to work. I'm inviting you. Hey, hey, what? Oh, what are you doing, man? I'm with... well, listen to girls, or I'm kicking your ass. Hey, look at me. Obviously, you don't know who I am. Right. I never saw wait, you before. Wait, wait, wait. Come do this to me. I have no fire to... now. Nobody treats me this way. Let go of me. When a customer invites you to his table, you should accept, especially when he's the undersecretary for foreign affairs. I think he's just ill-mannered pig. You need to have some sense slapped into you. Why don't you go ahead and try? Don't provoke. Are you out of you? What the hell do you think you're doing? Yeah, I'm not manager. Kick your ass out the door if my lesson to girl. Come on. Take your hands off. See, that's an order. You're fired, you big ape. How dare you get off the premises at once. At once. Uh, uh, uh. If I catch the body, I'll fire the lot of you. I'm serious. This is no time to hold a first aid class. Aren't you supposed to be hunting down the ape man? Yes, indeed. So what are you waiting for? Yes, boss. Right away, boss. I want him permanently removed from the scene. No one messes with Jose or Fato Torcillo. Fall down the stairs? Easy. Pick him up and take him inside. How are you, baby? Fine, thank you. Why don't you come over to the table? Well, actually, I'm not that kind ah, of girl. Ah, girl after my own heart. No beating around the bush, huh, baby? Let me drive you home, huh? Okay. Get along. Be molesting you. Be Oh, God. You're molesting the girl, so I'm kicking your ass out the door. Hey! You don't know who I am. When I wake up in the morning, I find out that I've been running up late long. Bouncer, I'll spread on my ass. No! Ah. Boss. Boss, what happened? Did you hurt yourself? You hurt yourself, boss? Come with me. Hurry. Where? Don't ask questions. Come on. Where are we going? Just threw the boss out the door. You better disappear. I've done my job and I want my money. You're going to lose your job because you defended me. If you don't leave, I'll lose mine too. Okay. It was very nice working with you. <laughs> oh, my ass. Yes. I am on the couch. You imbecile. You turkey. You dimwit. <laughs> don't drop me, please. 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 Easy. Oh, come. Easy. Uh -huh. It was the ape man who threw me down the stairs. Yes. Delirious. Huh? Delirious, nothing. It was Banana Joe. That's the girl I'm looking for. Uh, uh, he's blasted my car into Harbor Bennett. He's almost bankrupted me by having the price of bananas. He even threw me out of my own private club. What are you waiting for? Ah, Mark, go get him. It wasn't me. Yes, boss. Show the big ape who I am. I want him to hang by his ears.
But how many bananas did you eat? All of them, wasn't I supposed to? Would you like a coffee? No, thanks. Why are you looking at me like that? Have you never seen a woman before? Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, one or two, but, uh, but uh, nothing like you, no. Are you wearing stockings? No, not now. Uh, I uh, want to make a baby with you. Oh. You don't waste any time, do you? Where did you say you were from? Uh, it's called Hamantito. It's, uh, it's a lovely island off the uh, off the mainland. Are they all like you in Hamantito? Well, not everyone. Uh, some are. It's thinner. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ask every woman you see for the first time to have your child? You mean, it ain't right to? I don't know. I guess it's original. Well, if you, uh, if you don't want to, I won't be offended. I guess I'm not your type. No, it's not that. Listen, Joe. You're not supposed to be that blunt. You have to court a woman, send her flowers, spend some time together. And then, if things work out, you talk children. <laughs> flowers? Well, uh, why don't we make the baby, and then we talk flowers, huh? I tell you what I'll do. I'll think about it and let you know. I'll wait here. <laughs> as far as today is concerned, I'm going to bed. That's more like it. <laughs> And you're going to the bishop's office. After all, Joe, isn't that what you told me? Father? Yes? Would you do me a favor? Of course, if I can. Hiya. Hello? I gotta have a baptism certificate. Where do I go? Oh, that's Father Enriquez's department. He's at prayer at this moment. You may join him if you like. Our church is over there. Father Enriquez. He's in the confessional. Thanks a lot. Something bad. I'm just a poor sinner. Oh, it must have been a fire truck. Do you wish to confess, my son? It must have broken my my jaw. You broke. 
smoke your rosary. Use this one. It's a present. Thank you, sister. Yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Father Enrique! Shh. Shh. I would help you most willingly, my son, but it is beyond my power, thanks to the intervention of the pyromaniac. Well, go ask him then. Where is he? Unfortunately, it's not that simple, my son. Five years ago, all our archives were destroyed when the building caught fire. Well, what do I do? We have no record of you here. Well, then how do I prove I exist? First, go to the State Department yeah. and ask for the registry office. And there you tell them that you're... We're not a joke. And your parents are? Well, I don't remember having any parents. I understand. That makes you sound a P.U. Oh, no, they can't be. I mean, if I look Chinese. Parents are known. Oh, well, don't worry, my son. Somewhere, somebody will have a file on you. You'll see. The registry office. Today is Sunday. Tomorrow, my son. Do you have a place to sleep? I guess so. Who's there? A secret admirer. Do you like champagne? Oh, Mr. Torcillo. Jose Alfonso. Uh, it's rather late. I was about to go to bed. Great idea, baby. <laughs> Why don't we have a, a nightcap? You wouldn't want me to uh, drink the bubbly out here on my own, uh, would you? Well, all right. But just for a minute. I'll go and put something on. Perfect. <laughs> Quick, hide. He mustn't find you here. I'll be out of a job. You really want me to hide in here? Shh. Make it fast. My career depends on him right now, so hide. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Love playing hide and seek, especially with the kids. Now, look under there. Come in. You know, you really should I hope you like the apartment. I happen to own this hotel. <laughs> oh, yes. Everything's fine. Oh, look at that. You obviously love sweet bananas. It's as if you knew that that's the way to my heart. Oh, my arm. I'm so sorry for what happened last night. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll be fine after a few days rest and relaxation, and you're just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry, Mr. Torcio. But I'm not the type of girl you think I am. I just want someone to talk to. You see, my nerves are shot because I'm being persecuted by this big bearded ape. I'm not in the mood to make amorous advances. I just want a little compassion from somebody I like. And when I like somebody, I have to possess her. Oh, 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 oh great heavens, I'm sorry. It was oh, I'm sure it was. Where's the bathroom? I gotta bathe it in cold water. Oh, oh. It was him, it was him, it was him. There's no one here. But where did he go? We're alone. There's no one else in the house. You must have been hallucinating. If you say so. You see him everywhere. There he is now, in the mirror. No, you can't call that an hallucination. Maybe it's a bananas. I assure you, there's no one I here. I know, but I'm going to check anyway. Oh, you're right, an hallucination. There he is, standing over there. An hallucination. An hallucination. Ah, ah! Mr. Torcillo! What? You mean that was Torcillo? Ah! Ah! What do I pay you buffoons for? Find the big ape, I told you. And who find him? I find him. I find him. And he's so terrifying, I leaped out of a third floor window. Ah! Right under a, right under a giant cactus. The duck's doing a great job, boss. Ah! The boy's taking out 325. And 26. Ah! A banana a day keeps the doctor awake. Not true, <laughs> boss. It's an apple a day keeps the doctor awake. Find the ape. 
I give you two days, 48 hours to find the big hulk and wipe him off the face of the earth. Or I personally will see that you are the ones that are wiped off the face of the earth. Ow! See, Joe, you can get your picture over there. In that little hut? Yeah. What do I want with a picture? It's the first thing they ask for when you apply for your ID card. Oh, yeah. You look better dressed like that. You look more hip, Joe. Thanks. See you. Anytime you want to sleep on my couch, you're oh, welcome. Oh, thanks. I don't know if it's hip, but in those other clothes, I was almost choked. See you, <laughs> huh? Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Banana Joe, and I want an identification card. Here's the photo. Identification card. You bring your birth certificate with you? The name's Banana Joe. I want an identification card. Here's the photo. I heard you the first time. But unless you produce your birth certificate, I cannot issue an identification card. You could... No, no. The name's not Blow Joe. It's Banana Joe. But see, I'm the guy in the photos. Yes, I heard you. But I'm sorry, Mr. Job. I have positioned two over there for a birth certificate. When you get it, come back. What do I do with the photos? When you come back here with your birth certificate, you attach them to your application form. All right, who's next, please? What's your problem? Come back with a valid tax stamp. Next. My name's Banana Joe, and I want a birth certificate. First, I'll have to see your identity card. What, are you trying to make a monkey out of me or something? I gotta get an identity card. Here's the photo. Can't give you a birth certificate without proof of identity. You should have gone to position 16 and got yourself an identity card first. I just came from position 16. I'm, I'm sorry, if you can't produce an identity card, I can't help you. One at a time. You want from me? I just work here. Next. Oh. I went over to position two, just like I said I should. The turkey there said he can't give me a birth certificate unless I have an identity card. That's what he said. How can I give you an identity card if you don't have proof of identity? Go back to position two, get a birth certificate, and then fill out your application. Okay, excuse me. Wow, can't have this without that. Can't have that without this. Go to position two, go to position 16. Hey, excuse me, I was here first. Hey, there you go. Come back here, you. Bring that 
told me I can't have an identity card without a birth certificate. So let's get on with it, Oscar. All I'm right, just sir. about running out of patience. Excuse me a second. I'll be right back. Hey, Paco! You got rocks in your head this morning? What the hell did you send this guy back for? You know I can't issue a birth certificate if the applicant hey, can't produce proof of his identity. Me? Which means you he's got to have an identity card first. Which I means do? I... I'm in charge of this department. Uh, maybe if you explain your problem to me, uh, we can uh, find a solution. Well, I got is the photos. I see. You want an identity card. Uh, have you ever served in the Army? No. You never got a draft card? No. Oh. Well, if I did, I wouldn't have known anyway. See, I got this hang-up. I don't know how to read. Well, however much I'd like to help you, I'm afraid there's nothing I can do. But the best way to get proof of identity is join the Army. If I were you, I'd go to the recruiting station down the road and say you want to join them. Then return here, and you'll get issued a birth certificate. Mm -hmm. That's the name of the place. The Zonkata Barracks. Zonkata. recruit I ever saw. <laughs> You're pretty funny looking yourself. What? what? How dare you? And call me sir. I'm your sergeant. I'm your superior officer. I have the power of death over you. You mean if I call you sir, you call me sir? <laughs> Listen. You are addressing Sergeant Jose Felipe Maria Marquito. And you know what they call me? The Holy Terror. That's what. And don't you forget it. I eat recruits like you for breakfast. Now, before you joined up, how did you survive? <laughs> I ate bananas. Will you show some respect? You're in the army now. Get that through your head. I'll destroy you. I'll, I'll break you. I'll, I'll have you crawling like a worm at my, at my feet. Faster. Faster. Give your heads down. I'll teach you to be smart as is your first day of basic training. You look more like pregnant hippos than soldiers. Crawl, crawl, crawl. Faster, faster, faster. Crawl. Move it, move it, move it. I'm going to turn you into a platoon of panthers. The enemy's waiting for you at the end of the assault course. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. What do you stop for, a cup of coffee? Flatten your shoulders, Fatty, and keep moving. Why don't I stand up and step over it? Because you're under fire, that's why. Get moving!
You're in the army now, so pay attention. I'll break every bone in your body. I'll drive you into the ground. I'll keep after you 24 hours a day. And so help me, Julius Caesar, I'll make a soldier out of you yet. Clear? And today, I'll teach you the principles of unarmed combat. How to survive on the battlefield without a weapon by attaining the highest degree of efficiency in what is known as the martial arts. Every good soldier should be proficient in judo and karate, the samurai arts of self-defense. So watch closely. You, step forward, hut, two, three, four, hut, two, three, four, hut. All right, throw a punch at me. you'll learn so far. Give me a punch, fatty. Don't be afraid. Try to hit me as hard as you can. That wouldn't be wise, Sergeant. I might hurt you. Now I'll decide what's wiser or not, recruit. Give me a punch. That's an order. I warned you. <laughs> That's for calling me fatty. <laughs> Today I have invited the Colonel to watch your training. So naturally, I expect maximum efficiency. Any one of you who is misguided enough to goof off and let me down will be permanently assigned to kitchen duty. You are going to show the colonel how I have turned you into soldiers. Sergeant. Yes, colonel. Are they ready for the demonstration? Get up. Stand by and be squad to the first recruit platoon! Hot pace, hey! Permission to proceed, sir. Put them to their paces, Sergeant. Yes, sir! The NB squad stand by for first exercise, crossing the river without a bridge. First man, ready? Forward, on the double! Come on, move it, move it! Next man! Forward, on the double! Come on, move it! Next man! Come on, move it! Next man, on the double! Come on, move it, move it! Move it! On the double! On the double! What's my motivation for jumping this? There's your motivation on the other bank. The enemy, can't you see him? This represents a river, and uh, this is the other bank with enemy machine gun nest. Now jump the river and wipe it out. What machine gun? It's camouflage, dummy! Don't get across there and attack it! Sergeant Marquino! Yes, sir, Colonel! Can't you give him an example? Lead the way, Sergeant. I will now give you a demonstration of what you're supposed to do. Right. Man's office. Demonstration carried out, sir. Three, four. 
Thanks. I'll take care of it. Well, I did what you said, and here I am. Nobody can deny you've enrolled in the Army. Now I can have a birth certificate, eh? I still got the photos. Very well. Sorry, but uh, who has to sign the application? It has to be countersigned by a witness. Any Joe Blow you know will do. Who is this Joe Blow? Everybody talks to me about the guy, only I don't know him. It's just a figure of speech. All you have to do is go to somebody you know. They sign the application form as your guarantor. Then bring it back here, hand it in, and a month later, you receive the certificate. You say a month later? Yes, You a don't month. understand. I gotta get a license to trade bananas now. I'm sure you do, but the minister has to sign every certificate, and he's always very busy. He's the only one authorized to authenticate official documents. Then why don't I take it straight to the guy? You can't. Everybody, listen to me a second. You see, I've just been told the minister here doesn't want to see us. And I'm willing to bet he doesn't even know that people wait out here for months. What do you think? Yeah! So why don't we go say hello and introduce ourselves to the guy? All right, come on, follow me. My dear Torcillo, I have had occasion to talk to our mutual friend, the President, and he has promised me that he will take a personal interest in your problem, and therefore you can consider it already resolved. Thanks a bunch, Ramon. Your real friend. If you're implying that I get filling permission for the whole of the public park at the north end of the city, my gesture of appreciation will be in the region of uh, $100,000. Well, a little under what I expected. This way! What's going on? A revolution? Oh, my dear Tosillo, I hope not. <gasps> oh, no. The ape, no! Minister, I want this authentic thing. Guards! 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 Are you afraid of something? Here, I'll hang you up out of harm's way. I don't think we want to hurt Let you, me. do I'll authenticate myself if you won't. You're not authorized. You're not authorized. about time they let me out. Then is that some kind of joke? You're 10 years for what you've done. 10 years? 
Oh, ten years is out of the question. I got a village to look after. Besides, I got no room to move around in here. Licks my muscles. Get in there. Now you'll have even less room. You've been given a cellmate. Coincidence. Got the same hair. But the little rat will pull too fast ones on me. Uh, 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 so what? Uh, <clears throat> lots of people have the same kind of hair. It's uh, a natural phenomenon. <clears throat> you got a bad throat? You can say that again. <clears throat> <clears throat> you can knock her off the yak anytime you feel like it. Hmm? Come here. You think I don't know who you are? No, no, no. no. I can explain everything. I'm, I'm can... still waiting I'm... for the perfect pair of shoes I, I, you were supposed to produce. I, I, if you stop trying to, to choke, to choke me to death, I can explain everything. I finally managed to get you a genuine license for trading bananas on the river. Oh, Charlie. Yeah, yeah, it's true. I have this friend who, who drives for the archbishop. Sometimes he does me a favor. You're putting me on. No, no. I, I have friends uh, in all walks of life, uh, chauffeurs, uh, ushers. Look, uh, how do you think I got to the president, huh? President. Yes, our beloved and esteemed president of the Republic, who will uh, be uh, forever grateful to me if he makes a boy this time. Well, thanks to you. Uh, sure, I took the pill. No, I mean the president's wife took the pill, which I uh, I provided through my friend the Archbishop. Uh, you hey, put me uh, on. Will you let me finish the story? You see, he introduced me to his his eminence, who was so taken by your story that he called up a friend of the ministry and arranged for you for you to receive a banana trader's license valid between Amantino and Lima. Which you brought right over to me. That's where you're wrong. You see, I put it in the mail to you just minutes before they arrested me. That's fate, huh? <laughs> That's fate, yeah. all right. You see? Yeah, like what that can you do? Uh, when things uh, start, I'm going to kill you! Oh, I'm going to kill you, so oh, help me! It's the truth. Hey, oh, Banana oh. Joe. Yeah, what? Yeah, you got a visitor. A visitor? Yeah, they're waiting for you in the visitor's room. <laughs> I'll take care of you uh, when I get back. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Hey, wait, wait! This way. Hey, wait! Wait! Hey, God! Listen to me! I can't stay here! Put me in another cell! He's gonna kill me! Help! God! God, listen to me! God, my time is running out! My time is running! No kissing the body contact. I'll make it snap. Okay, okay. I was busy. I'm sorry I couldn't come before. It's okay. No, it's just great to see you anyway. It's good to see you, too. You'll never guess where I'm going to sing. I'm in Tito. I'm in Tito? Are you out of here? I'm in Tito's a little village. I mean, there's nothing there, just the, the village. No, it's changed completely. Torcio's built a factory to handle the bananas. Now the place is booming. Tomorrow evening, there's the grand opening of the Amatito Guacambo Club. Dancing, singing, French champagne, even a casino. I'm singing there tomorrow. Torcio offered me a contract. I couldn't refuse. Yeah, sure. Oh, I have to give you this. It was mailed to my hotel. It's from the Ministry of the Interior. Uh, you, uh, you read it to me. Sure. <clears throat> Dear Mr. Banana Joe, we are happy to inform you that His Eminence, the Archbishop, has intervened on your behalf. You are hereby authorized to handle the harvesting and sale of all bananas in the area between Amantito and Limas, etc., etc., sign. That's just what you wanted, isn't it? He wasn't telling me lies after all. Your time's up. Yeah. Goodbye, Joe, and take care. As soon as I get back from Amantito, I'll come and visit you again. Don't worry. Okay. See you around. Help! He's gonna kill me! Don't be on that easy! Help! Help! Let me out of here! Somebody help me! Somebody help me! Get me out of here! Open the gate! No! 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 Let me go! Please, let me go! No! I don't want to go back in there! Please kill me! Shoot me! I, I want to be executed! No! 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 Okay, just one blow. Right, right here. 
Oh, oh what are you doing? Don't make me what start. What are you but... doing? I ain't going to kill you. What are you doing? I found a friend. <laughs> a friend. <laughs> a friend. <laughs> it would have been better if you had killed me. Don't forget that Henry Ford started as a shoeshine boy. Hello. Hey, baby, where are you going in such a hurry? <laughs> I'm just the man you're looking for. Maybe we can have some fun together. Come on, kid. The boss is arriving. You'll never be a Henry Ford. <laughs> Things are moving along very smoothly, as you'll soon see. Still a couple of buildings to throw off, though, but the nightclub cup casino is finished. Ah, it's about time I heard some good news. You open the club with a bang, <laughs> I brought along a great star, Gloria. Sam Bonino at your service. Now, if you're both like to follow me. I do hope you had a pleasant trip, Mr. Tosillo. As you can see, I have the camper shift over for you to sleep in. Da -da 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 -da, if you know what I mean. And that is, of course, until the hotel is ready. <laughs> this way. Now, this is the part I'm rather proud of, a banana processing plant that runs for almost a mile along the river shore. The best bananas, those selected by our electronic banana selector, will, of course, be sent to you for your own personal consumption. Thanks. Think nothing of it. The best part is that none of this is costing you a single penny. The workforce, God bless it, will gamble or drink their earnings away in concessions all owned by the Tosillo. Corporation. Yes, I've set up the perfect labor management relations here, Mr. Torsillo. They do the work and we count the money. You're doing a great job, Marino. Great Here's job. Here's the casino. The interior's almost finished. After you, Miss Dorian. Here we are, Mr. Torsillo. The gambler's nightmare, the jewel of your organization. We'll rob the jet setters blind. Come on, we should be finished by now. What are those crates of whiskey doing out there? They should be in here. Someone see to it. Make sure the slot machines are fixed so that there are never any payouts. We're not running a charity here, and everything must be ready for tomorrow. Hey, you see? I've put up a lot of lights and some pretty colors to suck in the savages. They'll be sucked in here like bees to pollen, but they'll never win a damn thing. Perfect. <laughs> You've done a really great job. We'll take those savages for every penny they've got. Like lambs to slaughter. <laughs> How about a toast to success? Champagne. Champagne. <laughs> Earthquakes in the zone. Are you sure about that? For sure, I'm sure about that. Take a look. It says it all here. Seismic reports. Every square foot is bigger. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Oh, 
take care of the bum. You got nothing right. to worry about. Imagination. And there's the culprit right there. It's all the champagne's fault. I, I don't believe it. I should have listened to Mother. Bound to think it's silly. I imagine the bearded gorilla was ripping the casino apart, but he's safely locked up in prison. Perhaps mice. Take care of Mr. Torsey. Mr. Who? He left Mr. Banana. I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll go get him. You wait right here. It won't take a minute. He's bound to be around here somewhere. He can't be going far. I'll find him and bring him back. Have a banana and make yourself at home. Oh, Mr. Torsey, you. No, no. He got it all wrong. I'm Torsey's twin brother. Sure you are. Uh, and I'm Bo Derek. Stand still for a second. No. Joe. Here we go again. You better get out of here. All right, this is written authorization from the government that says I can sell bananas. That's not why I'm here. That's more like it. This man's a criminal, a fugitive. He broke out of jail. Arrest him. We've come all the way from Lemus for that very reason. <laughs> wanted notices. Uh, you're wanted for uh, breaking out of the jail at Puerto Grande, along with Juan Vilas, alias Pedro Almera, alias Paquito Rodriguez, alias Manuel. He's a total stranger. It's a pity, Joe. While we were on our way up river to come here and arrest both you and your friend, we received a signal via radio from the government. The beloved wife of our much admired president has given birth to a baby girl. A boy. A the boy. Science that's Academy right. has stated that this historic event was made possible thanks only to pills made of Tripodio Corbutus, discovered by Senor Juan Vilas, alias Pedro Almera, alias Paquito Rodriguez, alias Manuel. And here I am. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was willing to uh, bet you'd uh, be here. Uh, <laughs> a much beloved president has granted an amnesty to everybody, and special that. thanks go to you in particular. To me? Our president now has an heir thanks uh, to you, Manuel. Uh, You'll be granted anything you ask for. Oh, I can ask for anything. A television? No, no, Joe, how about a, a hang glider? No, wait, Joe, what, what do you say to a pair of roller skates? Or a video game, or a food processor? How am I supposed to come up with an idea? That's enough of that. I, I protest! What is this? Criminals getting presents instead of being arrested? 
for see you. The climbing around here is very hot. Now, either you watch your mouth, you're going to end up in the river. Captain, this man just threatened me with violence. Me, Jose Alfonso Torcio. How dare he do that? Arrest the crook. Captain, I can't read, but who does this picture remind you of? Uh, Jose Torcillo, alias Licio Graputo, alias Francois Duval, alias Calvo Sebastian Sindonis, description of suspect, height 1 meter 55, weight 120, balding with uh. black sideburns. Black, black right. right. Likewise, his eyes are black. How were we? Sentenced in his absence for extortion in Europe, wanted for embezzlement in Dutch Guiana, wanted for the corruption of a public official, five counts of attempted kidnapping and unlawful trading in overripe bananas on five continents. That's you, oh. Men, arrest this criminal! Captain. Yes, sir. You'll find his buddies in what's left of the casino. Oh, really? Four of you with me! Joe! Joe! I figured out what to ask the president. Have him appoint me president of a bank. Eh? 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 Who are you? Uh, uh, uh. Joe, where are you going? And well, eh? you're a crook, right? Yeah, yeah, you're right. I admit it. A crook can't become a banker. <laughs> Come on, Joe. You can't be that naive. A crook can't become a, a banker. <laughs> a crook can't become a banker? <laughs> There's an awful lot I don't know. I'm dumb. I better go to school. Excellent, Joe. Now go back to your seat. And up, Joe. Everybody write their names in their books. I don't want any mistakes. Alonso? You go write your name on the blackboard. Gosh, Joe, I hate school. Why don't you and me go fishing? Good day, Joe. A man who can't read or write will spend the rest of his life being a Joe Blow. Take my word for it. I'll take your word for it. 